Module 4 will focus on the development of the pulmonary arteries and veins. By the end of the fourth module, the learner will understand the development of the pulmonary arteries and veins and how the timing of this development coincides with lung development. Normal growth and development of the pulmonary circulation is critical for achieving successful transition to postnatal life. Growth factors such as VEGF and fibroblast growth factor appear to be responsible for normal morphogenesis of these vessels. Timing of pulmonary arterial development occurs in parallel and mirrors airway development. Early in fetal development, the proximal main pulmonary artery develops from the truncus arteriosus. As shown in the figure in blue, the distal main pulmonary artery and the proximal right and left pulmonary arteries arise from the sixth aortic arch. The right pulmonary artery develops from the proximal part of the sixth aortic arch, which is noted by the red arrow. Both the left pulmonary artery and the ductus arteriosus arise from the left sixth arch. The distal portion of the sixth arch involutes during fetal development. Pulmonary vascular morphogenesis is controlled by vascular endothelial growth factor, or VEGF, and fibroblast growth factor. The bronchial arteries arise from the aorta and supply conducting airways, visceral pleura, and connective tissue with oxygenated blood. In contrast, the distal pulmonary arteries develop from the lung buds and surrounding mesoderm, not from the aortic arch, and carry oxygenated blood to the alveoli following birth. Branches of the main pulmonary arteries are identified by location in relation to the acinus. The pre acinar arteries are proximal to the terminal bronchioles and develop by 16 weeks. These arteries develop via vasculogenesis, a process involving de novo organization of blood vessels after migration and differentiation of angioblasts or endothelial progenitor cells. In the figure in red, the pre acinar arteries are shown as muscularized vessels that supply the airway to the level of the terminal bronchioles. The intra arteries are present in the alveolar ducts and alveoli. In contrast to the pre arteries, these arteries develop from the mesoderm surrounding the developing airway by angiogenesis, a process involving growing and branching of the existing vessels to form new ones. Angiogenesis of the intra arteries occurs in parallel to alveolarization. In addition, the intra arteries are partially muscularized to the level of the alveolar duct and are non-muscularized in the alveoli itself. In this figure, progression of normal muscularization of the pre acinar and intra arteries is shown on the left. However, on the right, there is aberrant extension of muscularization distally toward the alveoli. This abnormal vascular muscularization that occurs distally toward the alveolus can occur in the setting of hypoxia and is proposed to contribute to development and severity of pulmonary hypertension. The muscularization of the pre acinar arteries occurs early in gestation. These pre acinar arteries contain a thick layer of smooth muscle cells. Thus, the muscle thickness to external diameter ratio is significant in the fetus, contributing to the state of high pulmonary vascular resistance and vascular reactivity characteristic of fetal circulation. After birth, this ratio progressively declines while muscularization progresses distally. In the adult, the intra arteries are almost completely muscularized. So why does this matter? Because muscularization is necessary for hypoxic vasoconstriction to occur, which controls distribution of pulmonary blood flow. When oxygen tension in the alveolus is decreased, hypoxic vasoconstriction allows blood to be diverted away from these regions delivering blood to the better oxygenated alveoli. So the ability to shunt blood away from poorly oxygenated areas of the lung improves with advancing gestational age and then progressively in postnatal life as muscularization develops distally. Now a few words about development of the pulmonary veins. The pulmonary veins arise independently in the mesenchyme of the mediastinum and become incorporated into the left atrium during the embryonic phase of lung development. Initially. One pulmonary vein empties into the left atrium, but by five weeks, all four pulmonary veins are present. The remainder of the pulmonary venous system follows the morphogenesis of the lung. This concludes Module 4. Thank you for your attention. We would like to acknowledge the American Academy of Pediatrics, the Organization of Neonatology Training Program Directors, NEO Reviews, and Abbott Nutrition for their support of this educational program. This concludes this module.